in this video we are going to see a definition of system and its continuous time and discrete time domain representation so system can be defined as the process through which if you pass the input some processes will take place in order to get output so if i define a system it will be like this I can say a system can be viewed as a process in which input signals are transformed or cause the system to respond in some way resulting into other signals which named as outputs so system is a process and where input signals are transformed to give a signals which we call as a output signals so the simple representation of any system will be like this it is just related two signals one we call as input signal can be represented by x of t and we will get other side output signal y of t so x of t input signal is passes through this continuous time system same representation we can have for discrete time system as well x of n is the input signal to get y of n as the output signal we need to have a system which we call as a discrete time system so that input signal is transformed to output signals there are different connections of two systems so in this part we are seeing interconnection of two systems the first interconnection type is a series or also called as cascade so in a cascade connection we have two systems connected like this
the signal flow is like this x of t as the input passes through system 1 which will give you output which we call as the intermediate output w t which will drive another system which is system 2 in order to get final output y of t so this is called as a simple series or a cascade connections of the system next we are having parallel interconnection so here a input is given to two systems simultaneously and the responses of this are added to get final output so the signal flow is like this this is x of t for input signal we are having given to two systems simultaneously system 1 and system 2 system 1 will give your intermediate output as y1t and system 2 will give you intermediate output y2t addition of this to take place to get a final output y of t another type of a system we are having is a feedback system So in feedback, a uh, input is getting sum up with the same signal from the output which is obtained by passing this to a system and then this output is sensed and passed through the summing junction by doing some process with the help of another system. So, signal flow is like this, x of t is the input this is system 1, this is system 2 you will get a final output y of t is passed to this system to give intermediate feedback signal which is sum up with this and error signal will be created which is given to system 1 in order to get a final output so here we have seen a system a process where uh, multiple time operations can be seen a simple example I can take like this for example, in case of an electric circuit, uh, we are having a resistance and if a current is passing through this resistance, I will get a voltage across it. So this I can consider as a simple system. How? this is the input i'm giving and i'm observing this output so can i relate input with output yes by ohm's law i can say voltage across a resistor will be nothing but resistor value 
multiplied by current passing through it. So what I'm having over here is one signal is coming and something will happen to that signal to get another signal. So the first signal is this I which is an input and I'm getting over here V as the output. So what is happening over here? The input is getting multiplied with the R so definitely this particular block we call as a system will have some constant or some function associated with it so that once current is passed something will happen basically a multiplication happen and we will get output so this is a simple example we have taken in order to elaborate how the system will look like thank you